Okay, I'm getting ready to mix my epoxy for the cup that I glittered last night. Um, last night while it was drying, I sprayed it with my Carlon Glitter Blaster Glitter Spray. And the glitter is nice and flat on the cup, even the chunky. And being that epoxy loves to shift because I sealed it, none of the glitter will move from its spot. So I'm giving my epoxy its hot water bath right now. I mixed about 30, 30 milliliters for the first coat. And when I come back, maybe about three or four hours from now and check how tacky it is, um, I'll add another coat while it's very sticky. Um, some people don't like to do that. I like to do that because it's still only one la layer because of the tackiness. The new layer will adhere and become one layer. So that tomorrow I'll do a little light sanding if I have to. Apply my second coat of epoxy. Let that dry and then I'll decal and do the last um, layer of epoxy. So these are ready to come out. <laughs> going to be mixing them in a bigger cup. Make sure I get just about every drop out, scraping the cup. And again, my room is set at a constant 77 degrees. There's no humidity in my room. So this should come out perfect. Remember, KS resin loves heat. So I first give them both a hot water bath for about two minutes. I take out. If I'm mixing a lot, I have to switch it out to another cup, a bigger cup like this. And so I'm going to mix slowly for about another two minutes. I'm going to show you a little trick that I do because it loves heat. As I'm mixing, I'll pull out my heat gun. And I'll hit it with some heat from my heat gun. This is the way I do it every single time I epoxy a cup. Never had any issues. <clears throat> Have a few bubbles. 
again the bubbles don't bother me because when I apply the epoxy to the cup I'm gonna be hitting it with my torch to remove those micro bubbles but I do move remove a few before I even apply so I'm gonna let that sit for about a minute or two and whatever rises to the top will get popped by my torch right here so I'm just giving it a little weight I'm going to hit these bubbles one more time with my torch. And then I'm ready to get going. I'm going to give it a nice little stir. And I'll drizzle a bit on. Um... I will probably be using all of the epoxy that I've mixed on this cup because like I said these glitter cups just soak up so much epoxy so you end up having to mix a lot. thing will start moving around Oops, I'm on the bottom I don't care about a little getting inside of the rim of the cup because I just scrape that off with my exacto knife. I actually like it to get inside just a bit. Creates that seal. Um, a lot of people like that first coat to be drippy. I don't because I find that I get more bubbles, more of those micro bubbles. So I like to start with a nice thin layer first. Because that way I can easily pop those um, bubbles right on out. I'm going to let that spin. 
for about a minute or two and then I'm gonna go in with my torch but I'm still going to hit it with the torch because um, just because I can't see them right now doesn't mean that they are not there. And it's gonna be quick. I don't stay in one area too long. I just, as it's spinning, I hit it as it passes through. And I'm gonna let it spin. So I would normally do this about two more times. I'll let this spin for about 10 minutes, come back, hit it with the gun, um, let it spin some more, about another 15, 20 minutes. And if I see any bubbles still there, I, I will hit it again with the torch. Um, usually the second time gets it, I don't have to do it more than that. So this is this cup. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.